This is the Pusan 30 kWh home energy storage system. Today, we're going to show you the whole assembly and setup processes. Let's get started. Connect all the cells in parallel for a matter of hours and allow their voltages to equalize. Let's measure the voltage values of the cells. The voltage difference is within plus or minus 2 millivolts. Get 8 cells connected in a string with the plastic holders. Fix the 8 string module with Teflon tape. Wire the two battery modules with data collecting wire harnesses and flexible copper bus bars. Tighten the screw with an adjustable torque wrench with a torsion of 4.5 newton meter. Fasten the modules with metal plates to prevent the cells from irreversible swelling. Cover the battery module with the top plastic holders. Get the positive and negative power terminals installed onto the front panel. Fix the BMS onto the backside of the front panel. Connected positive terminal to BMS positive with flexible copper bus bars. Fasten Seplos D7 copper bus bars onto BMS. Connected negative terminal to BMS negative with flexible copper bus bars. Fasten Seplos D6 copper bus bars onto the BMS. Connect negative power terminals and positive power terminals with a D9 bus bar. Get the handles in the place and fixed with screws. Fix the lower locker and the upper locker onto the box. Put the modules into the box. Get the fuse holder in place and fix onto the bottom box. Get the front panel with BMS fixed onto the bottom box. Fasten the battery modules onto the bottom box with screws. Connect the two modules in parallel with the Seplos D2 copper bus bar. Connect the pad positive to BMS through D6 bus bar. Connect the data collecting wire harnesses to the BMS. Connect the pack negative with BMS D7 and D3 bus bars via fuse.
put the tread lock down to prevent the wheel from turning. Stack up the packs one by one. Remember to put all the snap lock down. Put the handle down. And secure the snap lock. Take down the terminal protective caps. Connect the Pusong packs to the ground with grounding wires. Connect the Pusong packs in parallel with positive and negative power cables. Connect the Pusong packs with communication cables through RS-485 ports. Connect the battery system with GrowWatt inverter through CAN port. Connect the battery system to the inverter with power cables. The one connected to the inverter directly is the master pack. Press the reset button of the master pack. All the packs of the battery system can be turned on at the same time. Turn on the GrowWatt inverter. The inverter beeps as the SOC is lower than 30%. We disable the warning sound and charge the system with grid power. The charging voltage is 54.1 volts. SOC 27%. And the charging current is around 75 ampere hour. Input current 21.1 ampere hour. Input power around 446 kilowatt hour. Open the battery monitor application. Choose the right port number, board rate 19200. Remember to choose at least one pack before connection, or the connection may result in a timeout. After connected successfully, each pack status can be checked and monitored. The cell voltage of each cell inside, and voltage difference. All the basics, and temperature information as well as the warning status, all can be monitored in real time, or exported historical data.